Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I'm a mom vlogger. I like to vlog about being in a blended family, taking care of my two kiddos, more work schedule, virtual learning, anything mommy related. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. Today is a day in the life of my toddler, but we're going to do it vlog style just because I feel like in those other videos, you don't get much of like who he is. It's a lot of just the routine. So we're gonna do it vlog style. It's actually like 6.30 in the morning. He's been moving around for the last five minutes while I was getting dressed. So we're just gonna go grab him and bring him down and he's immediately just going to sit on the couch like a little burrito because that's what he always likes to do. He's sort of cranky in the morning. It depends on how he slept the day before, if he did a lot and you know, it all depends. He usually sleeps until around 6.15 to 7 o'clock, it all depends, like I said. So let's go grab him and then bring him down to be a little burrito on the couch. Like I said, he gets wrapped like a little burrito. Oh, and I put on some cartoons until he's ready for breakfast, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. What do you wanna watch today? Um, he did have an accident last night, so I had to change his underwear. What do you wanna watch? Take your pinky out. What'd you say? <laughs> you little. So he's watching something educational. It's not like he's watching like something random. Um, he's watching um, educational videos on Netflix. And he's a little burrito. He does have his pacifier still. I struggled to get it off of him in the morning. Like I said, he's like super moody. So it all depends on how he's feeling. Um, sometimes he throws it in there and he's fine. And other times I can't get it away from him until breakfast so it's what it is today so i'll steal it from him when he's eating breakfast but i no longer give him milk in the morning as soon as he wakes up i just give him a little bit and then i get breakfast ready and to be honest breakfast is normally the same thing every single day because he refuses to eat anything else so a waffle with nutella and then some fruit and veggies on the side and he loves yogurt so i'll be giving him yogurt with a side of milk and some water as well, so he'll flip between all of those. And yeah, that's his breakfast pretty much every morning. Sometimes I switch it up depending on like what Lily wants or if he just wants donuts or like cereal or whatever. It all depends. Sometimes I ask him what he wants and he'll switch it up from a waffle. But most days he just wants a waffle. All right, so he's eating breakfast. He's got a waffle, watermelon, celery, because the avocados weren't ripe yet, and a piece of pork roll. I also have yogurt over there. He drank all of his milk already, and he's got water. He's already started digging into the waffle. How is it? Is it good? Yeah, is it really good? So this is what's left from his breakfast. He pretty much just ate the whole pork roll, a couple pieces of watermelon some of his waffle and like none of his yogurt. He drank all of his milk, some of his water, and that's it. He's currently playing and we're gonna head upstairs to do his morning routine, brush his teeth, get his clothes on, brush his hair, all that stuff. Right, bud? Yeah. <laughs> but no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside you. Till my heart gives in, I will do it. 
I have to force him to actually brush with toothpaste but he likes brushing his physical teeth with water so I allow him to do it before and after just to give him a little I have independence but I also like to brush his teeth to make sure they're clean right all done hey, sticker can you say baby shark Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. What color goes. is Baby Shark? Can you say Driving yellow? Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. What's he doing? And I, is it raining? I really want to know, really want to know. Is he got an umbrella? Is he got on a hat? Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my Good mind. Good job. I keep on can you put it back on the other side? High. Even if the sky is falling down. We are on the floor playing. This is pretty much going to take up all afternoon until he takes his nap. And to be honest, I think we might be pushing his nap from 11.30, he normally does that, to maybe 12, 12.30, just because I think he's sleeping too much during the day and he doesn't want to go to sleep at 7.30 like he normally does. He's starting to, we put him in the crib around 7.30 and he's starting to stay up past like 8.30 in his crib. Um, so it's just like been really difficult. Last night, I didn't even get him into the crib until after eight o'clock, so. We really still want him to go to sleep at 7.30 just because it's a good bedtime for him and I like the time that he wakes up. I don't want him to go to bed later and then wake up later. So I'm going to try and push his nap and then limit his nap to maybe an hour and a half instead of like he sleeps pretty much all day. Um, he sleeps between two, to, two and a half to three hours a day so we're probably gonna limit it today. Have him go to bed by 12, 12.30 and then have him up by 1.30 at the latest. So that's what we're going to hope for. We'll see how that goes because like I said, Ollie likes to sleep and if you wake him up, he's not very happy. Um, but he's playing. Probably gonna do a lot of that until lunchtime and I'm gonna get him lunch around 11.30. And that varies between like sandwiches, chicken nuggies, corn dogs, hot dogs, pasta, anything like that. I just switch it up randomly and offer him a variety of fruit and vegetables. Apple sauces are his favorite at the moment, so he eats a bunch of those. Snacks can vary between like fruit snacks and apple sauces, yogurts. Sometimes he wants cantaloupe and watermelon. I just offer him a bunch of stuff and he'll eat it. Um, he gets water throughout the day. I do have juices and stuff like that, but I mostly offer him water and he does drink it. So that's what he gets. And honestly, he's probably gonna get started on a snack fairly soon since he didn't, since he didn't eat all of his breakfast. I'll also add that most of these activities only last 10 to 15 minutes. He gets really bored easily. So it's hard to find things that will keep him occupied for a very long time. Right now we've already moved on to cars. He started out with a sticker book. 
been playing with that activity cube and now the car. So we'll just keep switching it up until he's ready for lunch. For lunch, he's having chicken nuggets, some cheese, carrots, pears, some of his veggie straws that he didn't eat for his snack, and applesauce and some water. And he's sitting in the living room just doing that. Are you excited for lunch? Are you hungry? It's about 10.30 now, so I got it ready. And he's gonna sit here and eat. We have a movie going on, and I will also mention that we like to clean up as we go. So I did clean this stuff up. He just pulled it back out because he wanted to play with it and then decided to do this instead. So pretty much all of the things that we were playing with is put away. It's just still on the floor. It just needs to be put back in its spot. Is it good? You like pear, right? Mmm. It's 12 o'clock now. I gave him back his pacifier. He is ready for a nap. He pretty much ate all of his food other than the carrots, the cheese, and like one of his nuggets. He also had a cookie that he ate. And so for some reason, he doesn't really like the orange ones. Yeah, thank you, buddy, for telling them. You showing them? He helped me clean up the living room before we head up. And this is the only mess that we left because I need to clean that up with and tie it back. Are you ready to go upstairs? I'm taking him up now around 12. It's a little after 12. Um, just so I can change his diaper, read him a book, and then we can go down for his nap. So he probably won't go to sleep until 12.30, so that's okay for me. Um, he's already starting a little to get a little whiny, so I know he's tired. I'm just trying to push that so he's not having that three, two and a half, three hour nap anymore. Like, that's just too much. So let's head upstairs and get him down for a nap. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I love. Yeah. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. It's now 2.30. I'm kind of nervous to wake up Ollie. I put him down at 12.30 and I thought like an hour and a half was just too, like not enough time for him. Like I, I'm saying like he's a, he's a sleeper. So I think I'm gonna go and wake him up now. I called his dad and he said, yeah, this is good for him. We should do it. I've never in my life woken this child up from a nap just because I know he's a sleeper. We've always just pushed his naps and then he just naturally still went to sleep. Um, so I'm kind of nervous. So let's go wake him up and see how he reacts. If you Hey, Chicken Nuggy. <laughs> he did not want to get up. And the only way I could wake him up is by turning off his fans. You ready? You want to go downstairs? <laughs> Little Boido. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. Are you happy Daddy's home? He's miserable because we woke him up. Give me those toes. I'm gonna get your toes. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get your toes. Give me your toes. Can I have your banky? Can I have your banky? Oh, good job. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's 
Painting some rocks. Good job. Use your fingers. Use your fingers. Yeah. Well, you use the top of the cap. Oh, really? Yeah. Buddy, you got colors. Go ahead. Paint it with your fingers. Do you want that color too? Okay, so Ollie's eating because he's freaking out. Uh, his mommy is not yet home from the doctors. So I just fed him, got some butter noodles because he loves those. Got some cheese and some watermelon. Is it good? You like that? Yeah, we got, we got cheese, watermelon, and noodles. Yeah, you like that? What are you watching, Gabby's Dollhouse? Is it good? This is the rest of his plate. This is his second helping of spaghetti. He didn't eat that, but at least he did a good job with his food. He's actually snacking on a little bit of fruit snacks and I'm gonna get him some milk right now. Right, bud? You want some milk? Is a piece stuck in your mouth? Are you gonna bite me? Because if you're gonna bite me, I'm not gonna help you. Yeah, you're gonna bite me? I'm not helping you. <laughs> All right, so we're getting Ollie ready for bed. He's gonna take a nice bath. Lily's leaving and going to her dad's. And he should be in bed by 7.30, right, Daddy? Yes, we'll try. So it's about seven o'clock now and he's ready to get in the tub. All right, little downstairs. Okay. Come on, bud. Let's go in the bathtub. <laughs> oh, shake your butt. <laughs> Buddy, let me see. Come on, me. Let us clean, little baby. Yay! Love you. So we brushed his teeth already. He's getting dressed with daddy. He always gets this on his feet and his nose because he's been a little congested thanks to allergies. He also gets this put in. It's like um, a Vicks vaporizer plug-in. We put that on all the time. Look at your hair! And this is his nightlight. It's an LED nightlight that my sister got him for Christmas. We just leave it on any place with the colors. Daddy's gonna get him dressed. We're gonna turn his fans on, and he's gonna read a book, and then he's gonna go see bees, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna go see bees. Yeah. Are you tired? Are you tired? Yeah. Say night night. Bye bye. So Ollie is now upstairs. He's going to bed with Anthony. I did his little nighttime routine. We pretty much do the same thing every single night. He spends about 20 minutes in the bathtub playing around with all his toys and stuff like that. He had some milk, which I think I didn't show, um, but he gets like between seven to eight ounces before he goes to sleep and that's it. Like that's all the milk he gets out throughout the day. And then he heads upstairs, does his bath routine, and then he goes down for a night. So he seemed pretty tired, so hopefully like the new um, sleeping schedule is gonna work out for him. And I will definitely update further along if it works or not. Uh, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.